Hello everybody and welcome to a VMix tutorial that is going to showcase the amazing shortcut set image. So here we are inside the VMix production and as normal up in the top right corner of settings you can find shortcuts and the shortcut that you're looking for is in function, title and here set image. Then you need to choose what form of preview you're going to select and then we need to write some values. But this is where this shortcut can become a little bit difficult to understand, but I will explain everything. You see, this shortcut is going to affect specifically title. And if we choose a title that have the option of image, let's go this one, and we open that one. You can see here, logo, your image, and we go here, and let's go with this uh, stream deck of sorts. Oh, let's go with this YouTube, actually. Now, that was a bad one because that's black in the background. Let's go to Stream Deck instead. Boom, we have the Stream Deck. And if we look at this title, you see up there in the preview, and if we maximize it, we suddenly have the Stream Deck icon inside the logo picture image part of this input. Now, something you can do here, if you side click to click Title Edit, and you go to this thing again, and you go, let's click the plus sign, and we've suddenly created a form of manual shortcut for this specific thing. And we go browse and let's go, yeah, this one, YouTube. So we have that one, we click plus sign and we can now jump between these two. If you look at the preview, you're noticing that the change is happening there as well. But this is actually a really short way of doing things. We wanna maximize speed. So we're back into shortcuts. Let's go add, let's go find, let's go Q for this test example. Let's go function, title and set image. The preview we want to affect for this example is the preview 201. This is the only option, logo source. We're going to showcase why this is important to fix later. But just remember, logo source for now. And now, the thing we're going to write in the value is if we go to the folder where we have these icons, we're going to click here. So we have the YouTube MISC background, don't touch wallpapers and MISC recording slash icons. Copy this put this thing inside here, then make that thing, you slash it in there, then you go back to your folder, you click this icon, and you click change name, copy paste that, insert it, and then dot, and now I actually need to look at what form of file type this is, it is a PNG file here. So we go back to this point and write PNG, normally sometimes it is JPEG, but in this case, it's a PNG, and then you click OK. I've made a second one that activates on the click on A, and it's going to find the VMix icon. We're back inside the VMix page, look at the preview, we're clicking on A, and it switches to the icon, and it on the Q, it switches to the Stream Deck, it switches to the icon, and it switches to the Stream Deck. Really simple and fast. But now that we've learned so much, we can create a input with a little bit of a trick to basically have a input with infinite shortcuts that can bring infinite images into this production without actually filling up your input as you're maximized to only have 300 inputs, which I personally think is just too few. For this, I should disappear. Let's go to the hamburger menu and let's go legacy title design. Let's click that thing, add image. Let's go this one, it doesn't really matter. Now let's maximize this image. Let's put it to the center, and then save as anywhere. I'm gonna call it MISC among my other templates. Back inside VMix, go to add input and go to title and go browse. And now we're gonna find that thing we saved somewhere in your computer. Here I have the MISC among my other templates, open and okay. And suddenly here, boom, we have that image and we can do the normal thing, we can browse. Let's go this talk bubble, for example. But look at the difference here, boom, big picture and then small picture. Also, we have the headline and description and a tiny, tiny image that we don't, can't really use. And here, boom, we have a big image. We're back in shortcuts. Let's click this thing and let's change it to this one. And let's click that one and let's change it to that one. We're back in here again. I'm gonna click A, boom, and let's click A. Ah, perfect example. Now you notice why there is a problem. I totally forgot about it, but it makes a good example. Let's go back to settings. Let's go to shortcuts. Let's find the, there's so many shortcuts in here. Here, 
and go here. Instead of object, you need to change it to image. And we need to do that with the other one instead of object, image as well. And if you look in the preview, boom, 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 boom. Amazing stuff, right? And we can do various things with this input. We can overlay it so it pops up in your face right now. Or we can go here and let's go inside this one and let's change this input to this input, boom. So as you're looking at that input over there, Boom, 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 boom. So the thing that is up in the preview should be in the output. And when you're sitting and talking about whatever subject that you're talking about, you just click that one key and boom, the picture changed to whatever new topic picture that you're talking about. And because we can put infinite shortcuts into the VMix production that we have, we can have infinite possible images that you can cycle through inside, for example, a Elgato Stream Deck. I, I would never sit and shortcut things to the to a keyboard, I'm just doing that as an example. But then we can do this without bringing a million of different pictures into your VMix production. You do have to sit there and just manually put all the shortcuts with the entire play position where they're at inside your computer with all their names and the PNG or JPEG files that you have on them. That could be tedious setting that up, but it will save you time in the long run as you're automating your production. That is it. I hope you liked the video guys and that it brought you something inspirational. Take care and I'll see you next time.